What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do a picture collage effect in Final Cut Pro X. So before we get started, this is what the effect actually looks like. So one of my subscribers actually hit me up and asked me to do this tutorial, which is awesome, and of course I'm going to do it. So just remember guys, if you ever want any tutorial or effect explained, just leave a comment below and I'll get on it. So, and by the way, he makes really cool videos as well, so check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. But anyway, let's get on it. So first off, you want to choose a background. I'm just going to go into Generators, under Solids, and just drag in a Custom, so I can choose my own color. Okay, select the background, make sure you're under Generator up here, select the color, and I'm just going to go for a white one. You can just choose whatever you want. Just go into iPhoto, and select whatever photos you want. So I already have mine here, and I'm going to drag them onto my video. Now place your images on top of the timeline, or on top of your background, sorry, and just stack them on top of each other. Now what you want to do is select all of your pictures. You can do this with, with videos as well. Just drag in the videos, cut them down, and um, hit the transform tool. and crop all of them to whatever size you want. What you want to do now is select the clips one by one and just select wherever on the frame that you want it to be located. So once you've placed the photos however you want it to be, just click done. So what we have now is just our background with all of our images on top, like that. So now what we want is just all of our images to slide in from the side. So we're just going to go under transitions and find the one that's called slide I believe. slide here it is and drag them to all of your clips or all of your images sorry okay I don't want it to slide out so I'm just gonna delete delete the end transition all right now just drag the images to the length that you want it to be make sure all the images are matching up and with the background as well so now we don't want it to slide in all at the same time or you might want it to be like that but not me so I'm just gonna move it a little onto the side so they're not coming all at once. Okay, let it render so we can see how it looks. So once it's done rendering, we can take a look at what we've done. So the images comes in pretty randomly. But of course, you can just adjust it however you want. If you want the images coming in from right to left or from left to right, you can just adjust it. So that's pretty easy. I'm not going to waste all of you guys' time by doing that. Just trim it down to whatever, when you want it to start. So that's all. Remember to comment whatever, if you want any tutorial or effect explained. And um, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.